G. N. Bharat Subramaniam was a great musician, was a very, very popular performer of the last century. He was easily the reigning star in the 40s, 50s and 60s of the last century. And he had uh, introduced this, uh, what is called Brika style. And that was in those days somewhat new in the, in vocal music. He had actually adapted it from the Nagaswaram's uh, Bani, as it is called. The Nagaswaram, the kind of phrases that it produced, the way it produced it, that he adapted into uh, vocal music and it was a raging hit in those days. So, a brika is like this. <coughs> This is one way of singing it. This kind of truth. delivered with a sharpness. That uh, is a style that G. N. Vala Subramaniam uh, pioneered in vocal music and even today we have uh, musicians who follow the style. So, a raga alapana is possible, it is possible to develop a raga alapana studded with such brikas. And there are others who prefer a style that is more sedate and not so filled with fireworks. Brika style is really fireworks. So, um, da, 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 da. Chemanguri Srinivas Iyer, another great musician of last century, was, uh, he uh, brought in a style that is that was very very dignified, full of grace and um, solid gamakas, but not uh, with very little place for brikas. And then we had another great musician, M D Ramnathan. M D Ramnathan was uh, almost a maverick a brilliant musician and he had his own style of, uh, he had his own approach to music. Um, we will listen to the Radha Alapna of Kalyani by G. N. Balasubramanyam and by, followed by M. D. Ramnathan. So, you can have an idea of how different the styles can be.
Oh, 
also the, one of the most challenging aspects because you really have nothing to anchor your music on. You are as it were painting on a canvas and um, this, is, um, it, it, this is also a real test of the uh, musicianship of a performer. The uh, uh, question would be we speak of improvisation, we speak of creativity, we speak of manodharma and yet we have all these rules and expectations, uh, raga rules, uh, presentation rules. So how much of creativity can we really expect? For instance, are new phrases created? We, we have the pidis, we have the established phrases of ragas, we have uh, these phrases established in compositions in the alapanas of past masters and so on. So can we get beyond that? I believe so. In fact, in the hands of a good a genuine musician, even uh, singing a, a well-established phrase can glisten with uh, musicianship. The same phrase sung by a good musician and by a mediocre one there will be uh, a difference that uh, stems from the depth of that person's musicianship. The larger task of building an alapana structure, an edifice so to say, weaving phrases, varying their speeds, varying their, uh, their volume, uh, introducing dynamics of various kinds and well, that is an artistic effort which, uh, which is what Ayalapana is all about. Now let us uh, listen to uh, a genius of the last century, Mahalingam, T. R. Mahalingam who was a flute player, a genius, a maestro. Um, he has uh, played an alapana in the rag kapi, in the, ka in the raga kapi, and uh, you can notice how he grieves a, a tapestry of alapana. Let's listen to Mali.